Hi, it's Lindsay Diane from DianeDecor.com. Today, let's talk about inexpensive decorating ideas for kids' bedrooms. Decorating kids' bedrooms is a little bit tricky because there are some things that you want to spend the money on that you know are going to last and carry them through the years. And then there are other things that it is not worth spending much on at all, especially with how fast they're developing and changing their tastes and ideas of what's cool change from month to month, never mind from year to year. So in this video, let's talk about 11 inexpensive kids decor items that are great for decorating a kid's room, but you don't have to spend a lot of money on it and you won't be upset if you have to change it three months from now. Over the years, I've found the best way to decorate a kid's bedroom is to invest in good furniture that's gonna last years and years and years and just save the money on the little decorative accessories. So one of the best investments that we ever made was buying one of the Delta Children four-in-one convertible cribs. It went from like a crib to a toddler bed to a day bed to a full-size bed. It was fantastic. And you know, the dressers, nightstands, things like that, that are going to be good quality and hold up for years and years are worth spending the money on. Now, the little things like the comforter sets and the decorative pillows and the tents and the wall decals and stickers, you can definitely save money on. They're great for switching up a bedroom. And I'm gonna talk about the things that I've had experience with that are inexpensive, that are great for decorating a kid's bedroom, but that are okay if you want to switch them out three months from now. Number one is wall decals. They come in all different shapes and sizes, but particularly the large wall decals are really great. You can get them for 20 bucks, 30 bucks, and have a whole animal scene that you can put up on your wall and it just look beautiful. And it's a great way to decorate a large blank wall. They're easy to peel off. You can change them up. You can rearrange them maybe once or twice before they start to lose their stickiness, but they're a great inexpensive way to decorate a kid's bedroom. String lights are another great touch to decorate a kid's bedroom. The bulbs come in a lot of different sizes. You can have the small little fairy lights that you can put on a bookshelf or some larger lights that you can hang over a tent. They just make the room seem a little bit magical and they're inexpensive, super, super cheap. You can get them on Amazon, Walmart, Target, pretty much anywhere, Dollar Tree, you can find little string lights for $1.25 and you can string them up, they're battery operated, you can put them to decorate a shelf or the top of a dresser, they're fantastic. And you won't be sad when they die out on you after a year. Number three is area rugs. We all know area rugs come in a ton of different shapes and sizes and price points. A kid's bedroom is not the place to spend $300 on an area rug. They are going to spill something on it. There's going to get Play-Doh and slime and things like that stuck in it but they are a fantastic decorative element. So what I would say is just go for the cheaper things. Go for the faux fur that's not super great quality, but it's fun and it's soft for kids to lay on or something that's gonna add a lot of beautiful colors into an otherwise neutral room. Those inexpensive area rugs that are under $100, that are smaller, you can have them under your tent, you can have them just under the bed, or to just create a little reading zone or reading nook for your kids. Get the smallest size possible. They'll still have a really great impact and you'll save a lot of money. Number four is curtains. In addition to just framing out your windows and giving you a little bit of privacy, they're a great wall decor element. You can carry over colors from an area rug or from your wall decal mural and carry it onto another wall. Or you can add that nice texture that you have on your bedding and pull it onto the wall and create a nice cohesive look. They're inexpensive. You can switch them out easily. Odds are in a kid's room, you're only gonna have one or two windows anyway. So it makes it an affordable way to decorate a room. Number five is bedding. 
Children's bedding is just adorable to me. They come in so many different patterns with characters of astronauts and unicorns and princesses and just about anything I've seen it. And the bed really is the focal point of the bedroom anyway. So it's great to go for something that your kids really like. Let that inform the decor for the rest of the room. So if you have uh, jungle animals on your bedding, go for some wall decals that have some more jungle animals on them or a jungle kind of scene. You can have some colorful curtains, add in some pillows that are animals, pillows or stuffed animals that go along with that jungle theme. And that's all you really need. They're inexpensive. Twin comforter sets are usually 30 or $40 if you wanna size up to a full size, maybe $50 at the most. And you'll get the comforter, you'll get the sheets and the two shams. And it's just a great first step in decorating a kid's bedroom. And then you can just find things that match that bedspread or that bed set to decorate the rest of your walls and your floors. Number six is wall shelves and picture ledges. Picture ledges in particular are a great way to display some of your kids' favorite books, get them off the floor, <laughs> and have them arranged nicely where they can reach them, but they also know that there's a designated spot for them to be put away. And the same with wall shelves. You can have shelves that are higher up that have some decor that you don't necessarily want your kid to mess with too often, but it's really great for the room. So whether they're framed pictures or some little ceramic figurines or things like that, that are really just meant to be decorative and not played with, you can put them higher up on some wall shelves. It's a great way to break up some blank space on a large wall. Just about anything can be used for wall art in a kid's bedroom. One of the things that I love to do is to get some inexpensive frames. They can be from Dollar Tree or Amazon and actually frame my kids' artwork and put them up on the wall. They always want to have their stuff up on the fridge or mounted someplace because they're proud of it. And what better place than to frame it out, make it look really nice and have it up on their wall. You don't have to have framed artwork per se or wall decals or wall stickers. You can mount those little slings that hold all their stuffed animals along one wall, or you can use one of those little decorative ladders to hold blankets, things like that, that just sort of break up the all white or all beige walls that you may have on there, just to give it a little bit of color, a little bit of dimension. That's all you really need, and you don't have to spend a lot of money. Again, recycling their artwork is a great option, but also just letting your walls do double duty for storage for things like stuffed animals or things like little figurines or metals that they may have. Use those to decorate the walls and it will save you a lot of money. Pillows are another great inexpensive way to decorate a kid's bedroom. You can find them in all different shapes and sizes. You can find rainbow pillows and unicorn pillows. They have the happy nappers that are like pillows within sleeping bags that kind of tuck up and they become this little lounge pillow that they can use or they can unsnap it and sleep in it and take a nap. <laughs> They're really cute. Our kids love them. There's also these uh, butterfly craze pillow loungers that are super, super popular on Amazon. They're essentially pillowcases that have been sewn together you stuff them with your own pillows and you can fold them up and configure them in any way that you like. And the kids love them. They can lay on the floor. They can make themselves a little chair. They're fantastic. So don't underestimate the power of pillows for decor. They're inexpensive and you can find them anywhere. Number nine is tents. Those little stick teepee tents or the pop-up tents are great for a kid's room, especially a little kid that doesn't have a ton of furniture. So we used to have a pop-up tent in my daughter's room with the little fairy lights and things like that. And that's when she was still in the little toddler bed and she didn't have a dresser. We kind of kept everything in a little closet organizer in the closet. But as she got bigger, that was one of the things that we had to sacrifice because the room isn't that big. 
but it was fantastic while we used it. We had a little faux fur rug that I got from Five Below that we put at the bottom of the tent and she used to just crawl in there and hang out with her little books and her stuffed animals and it was just adorable. It also makes another activity space for them to use within their room and it's just, it's nice. So whether you want to have a pop-up clubhouse or a little princess teepee tent or something like that, it's a great way to fill out a corner in a room. You could also use um, pillows or a little fold-out bench situation to create like a little cozy nook. That's essentially all that the tent does. It creates a little enclosed nook for them to play in. You can do the same thing without the tent and it's a great way to decorate a room inexpensively. Number 10 is wallpaper. Peel and stick wallpaper is readily available everywhere. Walmart, Home Depot, Amazon, Target, you can get peel and stick wallpaper. By far, I would go with this over painting a room. There's no sense in painting a kid's room when their taste is just gonna change. Unless you're painting it a plain neutral color, the best way to go is to just use the peel and stick wallpaper to change up the theme of your room. It's only gonna take you maybe 20, 30 minutes to put up a little accent wall with the peel and stick wallpaper. You can take it down in a year when you wanna refresh the room and it's no big deal. They're inexpensive and it's a great temporary decorating solution for a kid's bedroom. Last but not least are mobiles and projectors. So of course, if you have a little one that's still in a crib, a mobile is a great way to add some extra decor to a room. But if you have an older kid, a projector is the way to go. You can have solar system projections. You can have just stars and twinkly lights. You can have just about anything projected on the ceiling nowadays. They come in little night lights and you can set timers on them, kids can go to sleep by them, or you can use the stuffed animals. Both of my kids love these little Paw Patrol um, stuffed animals that have projectors on their back, and they have a couple of different light settings, they have stars, they love them. They bring them any place we go to travel, whether it's a hotel, Airbnb, they take these little Paw Patrol guys with them and they can have their projection. It kind of acts as a night light. It also just creates a beautiful decoration for them to stare at. You can put them on a timer. They turn on for 20 minutes and turn off automatically. They're fantastic and they're super inexpensive. It's a great way to decorate a kid's room. That's it for this video. I hope you found it helpful. I'll put some links in the description box below for some of the things that I mentioned in this video. Also, don't forget to visit me at diandecor.com. I write all about how to decorate your home on a budget. And thank you so much for watching and I'll see you in the next one. Bye.